You never know what you might see as you drive along the streets of Erie. Some things are truly amazing. For example, there's a property on Fairmont Parkway. Yeah, when some drivers see it, they want to get out of their car, take a closer look. That's what was our John Last. And that is where he takes us for this edition of The Last Word. Some people love their front yards and they want their lawn to be pristine so other people can admire it. Well, I met a couple from Erie who doesn't want to showcase their grass. They want to showcase something else. You can't miss their property as you drive along Fairmount Parkway at Harrison Street. We get stuff from all over. Tom and Mary Lou Deason have decorated their yard with a display of items they have collected over the past 35 years. It's like an outdoor museum. And it all started with the purchase of this bell during a trip to Buffalo. There was a yard sale and I saw that bell and I said, I want that bell. <laughs> and that's what started it. The collection has grown and grown since the purchase of the bell. There's a potpourri of items. A shovel, a leaping rabbit, a red wagon, a plow, a bird cage, a scooter, an old lawnmower, a sewing machine. Everything displayed neatly in the yard. Hundreds of items purchased by the Deasons at flea markets and yard sales across the country. And then we'd see stuff in places and we'd say, well, that would look nice in the yard. And we would get it and put it in. Not everything was purchased at a sale. This tricycle was sold to the Deasons by a young neighbor who outgrew it. He brought it up to us and wanted to know if we wanted to buy it, and so we bought it. The Deasons will buy just about anything to display on their property. So we were out in Zanesville and we were driving by and we'd seen this old outhouse and Amish guy, he, he says, you want to buy an outhouse? I says, well, yeah. He says, if you're not using it, he says, oh, no. The majority of the collection is made up from two of Tom's favorite things, old soda pop bottles and items from the oil and gas industry. Just about every brand of pop is represented in the yard. There's a nicely preserved gasoline pump. There's also a truck door from an old gas station in Northeast. It's a fascinating collection. People have been walking and driving by for years and stopping to take a look. Teachers take students on field trips here. That's my favorite, the kids that walk by and yeah. comment. Because it's surprising that a, a little kid, eight, ten years old, would say, oh, look at that, that's so neat. I want people to remember the old days, you know. It's, I remember it and a lot of people, they enjoy it. With the last word on Fairmount Parkway in Erie, John Last, Erie News Now. <laughs> well, Tom retired 14 years ago from GE, and he says he's outside on his property bright and early every morning, and he tends to that collection. That's quite a collection. We'll be right back.